Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Yo, yo. What up, though, people? Like to welcome you back to the Keep the C No podcast. As always, I am your boy Brown. To the left of me, we got. You got your boy John. And to the left of John, we got. Vito. Is it Vito today? Yes, Vito today. Okay, we got Vito in the building for the record. DJ Khaled. Oh, before we get in this part, me, I'm speeding, y'all. I'm speeding. I might need an Uber. Shout out to everybody um, that's tuned in on YouTube. If you on Spotify, uh, Apple, anything, we appreciate y'all. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the sub button. Hit the like button. We definitely appreciate that. DJ Khaled just dropped a new album. Did anybody hear the whole album yet? No. No. All right. It's been an uproar. Jay-Z. The God Dead song. Jay-Z, Rick Ross, and uh, Lil Wayne. Yeah, I heard with, that track, though. With John Legend. Keep it a C-note. What's your thoughts on the Jay-Z verse? Because everybody is going crazy about it. Go ahead, John. Start it off. <laughs> I mean, I don't want the folks to kill me. I think it's a it's a good song. He 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 spits that cocky flow. I mean, it's, it's pretty deep. It's a lot of messages in it. Um, but I mean, to me, it's just it, 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 it's a it's a nice track. I, I'm not going to overhype it like the rest of the folks are doing out there. So you saying you think people overhyping the track? Uh, His yeah. verse, I mean. Yeah. But I mean, it's deep. It is deep. But I think it's still overhyped. What's your thoughts, v I feel the same right now. Now, maybe if I keep listening to it, it might resonate a little more. But I, like I was saying earlier, I seen a video where some guy was breaking this shit down. Or some of the shit that has certain meanings that the average motherfucker wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. So it means more to different people right, than it right. means to everybody else. But right. as of right now, it's just cool. So yeah. let me ask you this. Does that mean you got to actually know what he's talking about a little bit more to give it more credit? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, as of what I know from just now, of not knowing none of the because you know shit, when you hear cool. an air wrote verse the first time, you like, damn, I gotta run that back. That was, was that your reaction nah. when y'all heard it? No, I did it so I can hear exactly what was being said to see yeah. if I missed something, like if it was a clue or something to to the but, bar. But I noticed this one thing about a lot of Jay Z songs, like I might hear something, like when his first album came out. You know, I'm just listening, I'm like, damn, these some good songs. And you catch years it later. later. I catch what he now I know what he's talking right, about, so right. it means more. So, but it's, it done. but it's a lot of fanboys out there that that broke it down. There's a lot of videos out there. Uh, and Guru, he even broke uh, part of it down. I ain't gonna so, lie, I haven't seen none of the videos where they broke it down, but I, I, so I will you. say this listen to me from, from right now to 444 when that came out. I'm saying after 444, any any verse Jay-Z has been on after 444 to this verse, this is by far his best verse to me. No, I like the, um, when did, uh, did Neck and Wrist come out like that? Because I like Neck and Wrist. I like his verse on that. Yeah, this is this is by far his best verse to me. Like, he he go win. Mm-hmm. Pause. You know what I mean? I, I ran it back. I'm like, damn, Jay did smoke that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't I don't know if it was because because I didn't catch everything he was talking about. I'm pretty sure if I watch one of them videos, I'm like, but I think he went in on that, John. Uh, my only takeaway from that song, the only takeaway, it's not a big takeaway. I understand the name of the track God did and they have to have like a symphony type beat. I don't think that that beat did any justice for his verse. I think, like I said, the uh, verse was out. Uh, so my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that that. Uh, did uh, yeah, you know I mean, I, so you think he needed a better beat for that verse? It would have came off better, Paul. Exactly. I think it it, it might have helped. I don't feel like that beat fits that song. Listen, let me ask y'all this though, right? No cat or call me a Uber right now. Is that like two songs in one? Yeah, because he went long yeah, as a it motherfucker. Was like thirty something bars. He went. He went thirty something long. bars. You know what he did? He did what Cameron did to Dutch's face. Right, Spade. exactly. He did that exactly to them. So let me ask y'all this: because Jay went in for forty eight bars, 
Is Lil Wayne verse being overlooked because Lil Wayne smoked that verse? It is. I gotta go back and hear hear the Lil Wayne verse again. Lil Wayne smoked that and verse. And Raw's verse wasn't was, 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 was nice right. too. Melissa, you what? Lil Wayne verse? No, uh, Raw. Like Listen, verse too. so I seen a lot of they people was complaining thing. about Wayne verse because of the auto tunes on it because it had the auto tunes. So. Like that shit. D- does does that take away from his verse? No. It don't take away because he ain't not no singer. That's yeah. gonna be nothing. It was still a good delivery. I like this verse, but I mean, I think it would have been better without it. But I mean, he he still did his thing. He def. I, I think shout out Lil Wayne. I think he smoked that verse. He did, but they only, only have sixteen bars. bars. That that's the only difference. Let me ask y'all this: Is 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 Rick Ross the most blessed rapper ever? And I ask y'all this because. Rick Ross is on a lot of major hits or a lot of songs that's popping at the time. He's never trash on a verse, but he's never memorable. He's just the guy, the other guy that's on a verse while somebody else or two other people kill a verse. Like, is he that blessed? Like, how is he getting all these songs like that? I can say he might not be the most memorable, but he does hold his own on every track. He does. And he's one of the most consistent. Yeah, he holds his own. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, even on a track where you say, damn, Ross held his own, you're not really going to remember his bars. <laughs> you're true. not. He don't have no memorable shit. That's true. You're not going to remember his no, bars. But you, I guess you got to be a Ross ball to be, make his shit memorable. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted them balls who follow him like that. Because mm-hmm. I like his shit, but it just what, is what it is. What, what's your thoughts, people? Jay-Z, God dead verse. Is it overhyped? Is it no cat? Keep it a C note with us. Let us know. Bonus question. Lil Wayne's verse. Is it being overlooked because Jay-Z had a whole song on the song? Keep it a C note. Let us know. So I, I want to ask y'all something because, you know, I, I know we all taken now when nobody's in their prime. But when you were in your prime, in your bag out, whether you was running the streets, whether you was clubbing hard, you meet a female somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. And she has a name. With, she bad, but she got a name with her. And she want to deal with you. Do you do you deal with her or do you like nah just because of her reputation? Hold on, say that again? You meet, it, you meet a chick. She bad. She like you. But she has a reputation. Whatever the reputation, because some people have said it, it may... Reputa- what, like what type of reputation? The, if if they say her last four boyfriends was getting money, they all got robbed. You dealing with her yeah, in your prime? Yeah, because <laughs> I ain't getting no money. So oh, what the fuck, they ain't I'm talking about whenever you was in your bag. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking. I never about- was the boy that was getting all the money in the streets. I was just a regular dude in the streets, and after that, I became a working man. Oh. Like I was never one of the boys whose name was in the street. Yo, this boy getting all this money. No, I, was, I ain't going fraud like all them other hustlers. I was. Making bill money, this made me stop grinding. It made me start working. Okay, so w- what you got to say, John? No, and even it. if I was getting money, I still, I'm still taking a dab. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't letting another nigga deter me from what I'm doing. Fuck right, y'all. right. W- what you got to say? I don't know. It depends on how much liquor I got in my system that night. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but I will probably try to fall back from that. Uh, uh, I ain't trying to be a victim of that shit. Uh, my man's and them told me some shit. Saying like, "Yo, watch out!" Her last three dudes, yeah, you know I mean, got set up and robbed or whatever. Right. And I'm in my bed. And if I'm supposed to be solid, my man, he's telling me some information. I mean, I- I'll do it, but not unless I want to be on some 007 and take it to like keep her on her toes, keep her guessing, not knowing where we going, just so I can see how far this is going to go. But I mean, I think I would probably take my homie. Okay, homie advice let, me, and fall let back. me ask you: Would take you would fall back, Vito? All right, he was getting robbed. What if her last three boyfriends got killed? Yeah. Would, would you still <laughs> deal with her? I wouldn't. I would try to tune her up. I would. My my plan is to tune her up. My plan is not to deal with her like as a make up my girl type Just situation. Pop. But anything is possible after you tune the chick up. Right. But at right. the end of the day, like I said, I'm not gonna live my life in fear of what another motherfucker gonna do on the strength of happening to somebody else. Cause if, that, if you live like that, you'll never get anything done. Right. Yeah. And I, I, me personally, I agree with you, Vito. Just on the strength that I know when I was in my prime, I was wild, hot headed, didn't want to hear none of that. To me, that was like a thrill. Like it ain't gonna happen. Uh-huh. Pride. 
proud of that guy. Right. I'm, I'm too tough. It ain't nobody yeah, yeah. That was that was my whole thing. Like, yeah, it ain't gonna happen to me. But yeah, so, but you know, um, I asked a couple of the homies. They said probably yeah, they would have did it to him. So, what's your thoughts, people? Too many fish, <laughs> ladies. What's your thought? You you meet a guy. And they say, ah, uh, he's this, that, and people be shooting at him, but you like him. He like you. You going to deal with him? Oh, they, love they, 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 they love that. They love that. They definitely going to deal with All they, ladies? They 90, 95%, because they be knowing. They be seeking out the bad guys. You know they say like, like The, the like good bad girls. Yeah, the good, good girls. Like guy, yeah, yeah I, 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 I can agree with that. So, you know, um, let me ask y'all a question, right? Rashid Wallace, shout out Rashid Wallace. He from the city. I was out with the homies and my man said, Rashid Wallace was nice, but he wasn't nice, nice. Is that over cap or should we, I mean, is that no cap? Should we call him a Uber? But before I call him an Uber, how old is this friend of yours? He's like right, right under our era. That's why he's saying that because he don't know no better. Okay, what's your thoughts, John? Yeah, call him an Uber. I mean, meant my man got a chip. He was a solid power forward. He did what he had to do. I mean, no, he was better than solid. He right. was better, right? He, so, call him an Uber. And he was one of the early stretch fours, right? And to me, to keep it a C note, because I, I I called him an Uber as soon as he <laughs> said it. I definitely got him an Uber. You owe me a couple dollars, bro, but. If she didn't have all them years, because remember, he played on Portland where Portland was loaded. Yeah. So imagine if she got all his years off cause when he played in Washington. But if he got all his years off where he was just that boy on the team, like his whole career would have been totally different. Yeah, it would have. Yeah. So what, he, he definitely took a lot of back seats to the guards. And right. Stuff like that. Not just guards. Like at one time he was playing with Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, believe, but he was Zach there before Randall. Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, he was there before them. They came up under him. Right. But, but, but they, they were sharing. He was sharing. Yeah, yeah, they were sharing minutes. What's your thoughts, people? Rashid Wallace. My folks said he was nice, but he wasn't nice, nice. Is right. that no cap? Well, should we call him a Uber? If you say call him a Uber, please somebody reimburse me because I definitely sent him home on a Uber. But since she is from Philly, and we're talk, we're from Philly. Let's let's do five the, your favorite five basketball players ever from the city, and they don't have to be NBA players. They could be street legends, anything. Who you got? Keep it a C note. I start well. My list. I got. And I chose, Talking to the mic for this one, Vito. The people I chose, I chose them because of style of play. My what I prefer. Okay. I got two dudes that's street ball players, and two and through the rest, the other three are um, NBA players. Okay. My number five dude from down my way. His name is Ra- Rashan, little guard. Like he played more like a Jason Kidd. You know, a lot of dudes when they in transition, they got to stop instead of right. moving all that. This dude is non-stop motion, get buckets, can shoot, can play D, can pay, can do everything. He just was undersized. Okay. Like, he, because he used to play for my team in the, in the um, summer leagues, and Kyle Kyle Lurie was on the other teams. He used to gas Kyle. And okay. You know, Kyle was a, is a good defensive player. Right. My right. number four is another dude. Wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. So when you y'all used to play on the team together, is no, what you he mean? played for me. He younger than me. Okay. Okay. All he right. played for my team. Okay. And. My number four is another dude from my down my way. He he passed though. Rest in peace, my man Tree. Six eight could play point guard, could shoot, handle. I'm talking about like all that shit LeBron do. Okay. But actually, he he didn't play like LeBron, like a downhill game. Like he could finesse, post. He could do everything at six eight. And he was <laughs> your age, yeah, or he, he's he's probably like two years. He played uh, he played for well, he could have played for Frank. He just was a. A know it all motherfucker. Like you couldn't coach couldn't tell you nothing, so he couldn't really stay around. But right. He went to went down south of college and college. Did he play your high school? Yeah, he played a little bit for Franklin. And then he okay. went on to like a, a prep school, then he went down south, then he went to Cali. Okay. But three, my number three, I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Catino Mobley. Okay. This, and that same league I'm talking about when I was younger, Cat played in the league down in my way. They was he played for a team called the Rifties, and he was their center. Right. And he used to be banging that shit on nigga like it wasn't nothing. I didn't know he could handle the shoot till I got older and I seen him. Right. Um, who else? I like. I got that too. I got Kyle Lowry because he just straight toughness, always around the ball. I feel like he don't do nothing great, but he does everything good. Right. And my number one is she. Okay. Straight bulldog mentality. 
we gonna play like we play a jail ball, bank when y'all, all that shit. Shout right. that ball. Right. Shout out to that. Who you but got? But hold on. Disclaimer, are we considering Cole from Philly? Because if we are, Cole is automatically number one. Let, let's just keep him out of it. Let's all keep right. Cole out of it. All right. So we keeping Cole out of it. All right, I'm going to mix it up a little. So then that, I will put, actually, I will put Kyle Lowry at my five. Okay. I got Catino Mobley at four. Okay. I got Earl DePearl at number three. Okay. I got uh, Wilt. No, I got Wilt at one. Damn. So Wilt, one of your favorites. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. And right under, uh, my bad. Uh, be- before, after, before Earl of Pearl is supposed to be Rashid Earl of Pearl, then uh, Wilt. My bad. At one. Yeah, I got Rashid. No, Rashid is my number three. So if, if no, Wilt will number one. Yeah, Wilt is, is your favorite. My my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Wilt shout out to that. My 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 list is a little different. At five. He played for Temple, played a little bit in the NBA, but didn't get the shine he deserved. And he a newer guy. I got I like Deontay Christmas. I thought when Deontay Christmas was in Temple, especially his last year before the draft, you couldn't tell me he wasn't the best wing player in the nation. Like I'm he, he tough. Was, he was tough. That's that's how I felt though. Like, shout out to my man Butchie Banks. Was, my, was um was what's the name? Cheney said they coach? When who? he went Cheney. Nah. Nah, not nah. uh yeah. So Deontay Christmas is definitely my number five. Simple. Okay. My number four, Hank Gathers. When I was a young boy, now I, I first seen the Hank Gathers story. Like I just Hank Gathers was like Earl Manigault to me when I was a kid. Like if if you seen that movie, The Goat. But that's how Hank Gathers was to me. I just thought. Like, I used to always ask my dad about Hank Gathers because I just thought that from what I seen, he was Jordan level. And I'm just going off the movie. Um, at number three, I had She Wallace. Mm. At number two, I got a legend from down my way. I don't know if you know him, Vito, but he's known throughout the city. He's an old head. Um, Munchie. His name Darren Mason. Um, he he he's known in all the gems. His name um, familiar. He played in the '80s for Mass Bomb. When I came up, when I was a kid, kid, and I seen him play like after, cause he ended up getting kicked out of college and all that. But I seen him when he was like in his twenties, and to me, nobody was ever better than Munch. When I seen like he could do everything, jump out the building, he can shoot, he can do. Shout out to Munch. Um, my number one also played for Temple. Now, I've mentioned him before on the show, and I said if it was a different era, he would have been nice in the league. Lynn Greer. Shout out to Lynn Greer. Lynn I played, listen, Carver. one year I was a kid, maybe in seventh and eighth grade, and I can't remember where we was at, but we were playing, and this guy was hitting, and I always used to shout out to A to, you know, to my AZ. When we got up Slate and he was the uh he he went to Temple when Lynn Greer played. And I was like huge fan. Like one day this boy was just torching us. And he was pulling up from like half court. And I never knew who he was until like it had to have been like my eighth grade year. No, yeah, because I had to have been like in seventh, maybe sixth grade. And this nigga was just automatic, a lefty. And it ended up being Lynn Greer. And you know what I liked about him? The way he his demeanor, quiet. He didn't do a lot of shit talking. He just used to fry niggas. One one time, and I always used to tell, hey, but I scored two baskets on him. Because at the time, he was the man at mm-hmm. Temple. And I was a young kid coming out. He was way ahead of me. But that nigga, he... We need to do a all street ball Philly legend list. Oh, we, we leaving a lot of... Out of oh, yeah, we years. leaving. Definitely. Did, did, I, did y'all like Maurice Rice? Yeah, I, I I miss Maurice he's Rice little, career. He's behind me, like you know, I like for Mansion. I like Flip Murray. Flip okay. Murray was. I like what OT. Is, what, Russell uh, Russell Butler. Yeah, I like Sue, but I, I like OT. OT got a bad break. OT was nice, and they he just didn't Philly don't get recruiting. Man. Right. OT right. won the championship. Was cooking shit the whole year. Had to right. The There's a lot of people Y'all from Philly, Philly legends out. Yeah, there's a lot of people from up. Philly, but yeah, we we might got to do a, a, another ball, list. That's different. Yeah, yeah a, a, a street that. ball because I know a lot of dudes, and um, oh, yeah. even a uh, uh, damn what's Angel Angel last name, but kid Fooey, he went to 
Edison in the 90s, the late 90s, and he was like the first Hispanic kid in the city that scored a thousand points and all. And this boy, he was free throw as soon as you come across half court, unlimited range. That's why I say I've been seeing dudes with yeah, unlimited yeah. range what about Gene in the Banks park. from West. What about, you got guys like Hot Rod, you got Sad Eye. Sad Eye, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out Sad Eye. What do do y'all put AO on that list? Because a lot of people, he did a it, lot. He AO did is he did a big AO, don't get me wrong. One, so AO is nice, but right. when you think of street ball, and you think of niggas who really get buckets for the most part, you don't really think of a nigga who's looking to get nice. AO more of a like a pass first guard to me. Okay. What I'm saying. But okay. AO is definitely a street ball legend in the city. He might not be top five, but he's definitely a street ball legend. Right. Well, if anything, we may got to do our all pub teams and 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 go but out a there. A lot but, of street ball lessons didn't. Yeah. No. And we can do a street oh, ballers yeah, list okay. too, though. But what's your thoughts, people? If you're from Philadelphia, who's your top five favorite players of all time from Philadelphia? Whether they're cute. street ballers, whether they're college players, if they played in the NBA, let us know. Keep it a C note. Um, Devin Haney, he just went through something with Ring Magazine. He holds they belt. They did a pound for pound top 10 list, and Devin Haney wasn't in the list on their list. That's crazy. Keep it a C note. Is should he have been top 10 pound yes. for pound? Yeah, undisputed champion. Undisputed champion. Yeah, absolutely. It was he a guy that I ain't even bills. heard of. Right, I agree. No cap, like wasn't he a heavyweight? Who the guy that I never heard of on the list? I think he was like number two or three. He Which had, one? He had a foreign. I don't remember his name. I don't know because I don't. Uh, the list would be on the screen because I don't know if it's the boy Alexandra, the uh, Alexandre, whatever his name is. Usyk. Did you did, send it to me? Might be him. Did just beat uh? Did just beat uh? What's his name uh? Guy tone like like Joshua Anthony Joshua. Joshua. I hate that boy, man. But uh, <laughs> I do, man. Anthony Joshua. Keep a it a C note right now. Who's your top five pound for pound boxers? Of course, I started off. Mm -hmm. Who you got, Vito? Uh, number five. I'm gonna go Lomachenko. Okay, you got Lomachenko. Yeah, I like Lomachenko. The, and Lomachenko is one of them guys that don't got no belts. That was on that list, and Devin Haney wasn't. That's yeah. crazy. That's cool, but I just like the way he fight, and he and he. Fights pretty much anybody put in front of you. Okay. And I like his style of fight. Well, number four, I'm going to go Devin Haney. Okay. Number three, I'm going to go Bud Crawford. Okay. Number two, I'm going to go Spence, because I, I think Spence can beat Bud, in my personal opinion. Okay. And my number one, I'm going to go uh, Canelo. Okay. Even, even with the loss, he's still the best. Okay, shout out to that. Who you got, John? Uh, I got <laughs> uh, number five, I got... Boots, <laughs> Jerron Ennis. Yeah, I think Ennis better than. Those and then days, from here, not there yet. But from here on out, I got Spence, Haney, Crawford, Canelo. Okay, shout out to that. Um, shout out the boots too. Yeah, shout out the boots. Um, at number five, I I got a uh, the boy Dimitri Bevo just on his strength that he beat Saul Canelo. That ain't enough for me. He it's not enough, but he's undefeated. I thought he didn't have no talent up there, so he wasn't good. Don't get me wrong. I still think Canelo can beat him. You know what I mean? I think Canelo underestimated him. But just on the strength that he has that win on his resume, I'm going to put him at number five right now. Uh, number four, I got Devin Haney as well. Number three, I got Earl Spence. Number two, I got Bud Crawford. And number one, I thought I was going to receive criticism for this because I got Saul Canelo Alvarez too. So after the one loss, I mm -hmm. thought y'all was gonna just try to grind me up oh, for that. Man, I'm, still number so one. so shout out to shout out to that because I did have a conversation with my man. It was like a boxing boxing guy, and he wasn't so quick to put Saul in his top five no more. But at the end of the day, how can you take a guy who only got one loss out of your top five and he's better than all the dudes under him, even right. though he got yeah. a loss? Right. Agreed. Right. So what's your thoughts on it, people? Right now, who's your top five pound for pound boxers? Keep it a C note with us. Um, I guess we can go conspiracy corner right now because I was talking with my guys and I was told, me and Vito even had the conversation, but I'm going to ask you why. I'm going to ask everybody. Blacks, 
African Americans, Africans, people of color. Why don't they own enough professional teams? Do you think it's because they don't want us to have teams? Like keep it a C note with us. Yes. That's as simple as that. Yes. Both. Okay. Uh, both of what? What's the other <laughs> what's uh, the both? Uh I think this will, sometimes we settle ourselves short. I mean, there's always going to be obstacles and this, that, and the third that blacks are gonna face or wherever you want to consider yourself that you're going to have to face, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it. And um, sometimes you just got to, I don't know, buckle that's, up and get, get down to it. struggle to get a but, black but, head yeah, coach. But I'm not saying that. I'm not, that's why I said I see a little bit on both sides. But I do agree that the, uh, that they don't want us. But not to say that, that it, that's going to stop us. No, I'm not saying it yeah, can't happen yeah. or won't happen in the future. But if, as of right now, they don't. What, what, what I'm saying is I just had this conversation with the homies. And to keep it a C note, I said it's all bull crap because at the end of the day, I don't think nobody that wants a football team that's of colored skin has the money to buy a football it's, team. It's, it's teams that don't have just one owner that have multiple, multiple people. Owners. Right, but if you want to be the majority owner of a team, it's, we have people that's minority owners. What I'm saying is, like, even with me and you, Vito, we had the discussion where we didn't see eye to eye at first on the Diddy thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, Diddy got outbid it. He didn't have the money to keep on well, this Diddy. Is, this is the point I'm making. Diddy, as famous as he is and the much pull he has, he could have pulled in four or five up because you know Miami got like five or ten. Yes, so but what I'm wins. saying is if you want to be the majority owner. This Listen, is, disregard the majority minority. If but that's bring, what the, the argument is. No, because but I'm people that, were saying that if you're a minority owner, then you're not really an owner of the team. That, listen, fuck all that. They don't even have... You don't, I don't even know if it's any uh, people, black people that are minority owners. What I'm saying is, if, say if they can bring up five people that can all put their money together but have enough to afford the team. Right. Because I know it's people out there who wouldn't have no problem with doing it. Right. That shit still wouldn't happen. Right. Not well, no time I, soon. For, I, for the record, though, it it will be on the screen, but if, from my recollection, I know Will Smith and Jada is uh, minority owners of the Sixers. Yeah, it, that's, I, I that's might, not football. That's diff- It's a difference. Yeah, because Usher I, is a minority owner with Cleveland. Nelly was a minority owner with somebody. Yeah, and then you got J-Lo and them with the Dolphins. Yeah. They're, they're Hispanic. Yeah, but you know they don't consider them black, even though it's... Right, but what I'm saying is, to me, my argument is this, is that if you want to be the majority owner, where you actually really own the team, it's your team, mm-hmm. you got to have 85% of that money. It got to be yours. You can only borrow 15% of it with the NFL. Mm-hmm. And these guys don't have... These guys, this 1.6 million... They can't afford to buy a team. It's not that they're getting boxed out. And then the, 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 the people that does have money, the richest uh, guy is from Nigeria. He worth 9 to $10 million. To him, that's not a good investment buying a team. So that's why we don't – the guys that have money, that can afford the team, they don't want a team. The guys that do want a team and make a big deal out of it, like Diddy did, they don't have the money to own a team. But like you said, if you have multiple, like I said, if you have multiple people to come together to get a team that can afford it when they put their money together, why why are they still not able to get a team? If you if you think about but it, it's I, a struggle for just to get a black head coach. What I'm what I'm saying is, it's us, bro. Diddy could have got multiple people, and they could have been. He yeah. went to Steph Curry. Him and Steph Curry was supposed to do something. Mm-hmm. And then once that bid got the two billion, they they backed out. They okay. jumped out and the Carolina Panthers sold for like 2.3 million. I mean billion. But what I'm saying is they didn't have the money if he that he was trying to be the majority owner. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying if they had the money, that shit still wouldn't have happened. They would have held out to it somebody wouldn't have, else. It came wouldn't have happened. You know why? Because like I tried to, this is my perfect example to end the conversation. Let's just say Diddy's trying to buy a a a, a team, and he had two point five billion. He can't keep bidding bit, with an Elon Musk if he's trying to buy a team. He got too much Listen, paper. This is the point. Uh, this is my point over that. If Diddy on Diddy and Steph Curry on the team, the influence they had, the relationships they had with these NFL players off the field, that means that 
every time one of them NFL players, and they got relationships with the, the most popular, the best NFL players, every time them dudes come up for free agency, they're going to that team because that's my man. Yeah, and he's black. But, so but they're trying nobody's to going to sell the team on the strength of that. What I'm saying no, is you got to have the money. No, I'm saying, I said, if they had them, if yeah, they had but you're, all, you're, you're, you're saying, hypothetically, they don't have the money. This is the point I'm trying to make. If they had... It, it ain't like they can't get other investors. If they had the investors and Diddy was the number one, the majority owner, who, whoever, he, whoever is the celebrity status owner that they whoever is the what I'm telling you is whoever is the celebrity status, whoever is the face of the franchise, he gotta have eighty five percent of the capital. Diddy got then a billion dollars, right? Damn near a billion. Team sell for two point five, two point right. six. So he got more billion. than enough to start. No, he don't. Yes, you you see, you had that thirty five percent, right? As 85. A, okay, 85%. If a team's selling for $2 billion at the time, he got enough. If he got he a dropped dollars. out at $2 billion. The price was too high. Once Listen, it go over... But you dancing around the fact of what I'm saying, the fact that if that man... Hypothetically, if they had the investors, they had the money, and he was the majority owner, them other owners know that all them great players in the league that are black men that have a relationship with him off the team are that's, coming to that's his bull team. Crap. That's well, you, bull That's crap. something you fall for. No, what they trying not to monopolize. Well, them would, right, monopolize. Yeah, this is the article that was put out by the Bloomberg. Um, it stated that the NFL financing rules are holding back the ownership of teams from black uh, people owning them. And but it's I, I, I do agree that it, it is a money thing. But what they saying is, is that it, minority buyers are priced out by equity state requirements and, and, the, and the league requirements control owner controlling owner to hold a 30 percent equity. So I mean that the controlling owner has to have more than 30 percent and they have to have no more than 24 people to totally total out the total price right. of that. That's team. So, so what I'm saying is, if so he Diddy, don't need 85 percent, he only need 30, 30, but and it, less than 24 investors. No, yeah. but it, it, it'll be on the screen. Yeah. It'll be on. A, if you look down there, they can't borrow more than 15. Whoever the majority owner is can't borrow more than 15 percent of the if money. Diddy worth 800, 900 million. If he go get a guy like Tyler Perry and Dre and Jay Z, that's only three you're, other motherfuckers. You're missing the point. He's still getting Dre and all them dudes that you're talking about a billion or two. What I'm saying is. When you're bidding against somebody like Elon Musk is worth how many billions of dollars, he's still going to outbid you. That's yes. like being at the auction. But we're not you talking trying to about got... somebody outbidding you. We're That's talking what about happened if... with Diddy. He uh, got outbid. Okay, if he got outbid, but we're talking about if why I'm saying my reason why I think they will, they don't want a guy like Diddy to own a team is because they know them dudes would rather play. Think about it. Jay-Z on the team, them dudes that signed with Rock Nation, off that are like... I, I like, understand what you're like saying, and I'm not. I'm not saying them. that's not the case. What I'm saying is, people look at it like they're blocking us from having teams. But in all actuality, the people that want teams don't have the money to acquire the team. One person might have not have the money, but that's why you have other investors. It's We're simple. talking about. What I'm saying is these guys want to be majority owners. It's on the fuck. That doesn't matter. If but it, this is what their debate is. Did he um, could have signed on to be a Carolina sold for two two billion. Two point three billion. Oh, two point three billion. You get three, two or three investors, you got more than that's where he tapped out at two million. They bought it for two point three. If he jump up again, they're gonna jump up again. Well, they had point, money. But you keep talking about somebody out business. I'm not talking about but that. That's, I'm talking about, you're talking about the money aspect. I'm talking about, it don't matter how much money they got. They're going to find somebody else that you got more money. You don't think they will outbid, outbid a black man just to outbid them? That's the point I'm making. I don't give a fuck how much money Diddy and Bro, them got. Bro, so what you're saying is, is no other, you're saying that people just, nah, that's too much, bro. No, it ain't. What the that's fuck are you talking about? It's a billionaire movie. boys club. If Diddy got five billion in the bank, they're going to go find somebody else that they know that got six billion to outbid nah, him, bro, even if they don't I, want the team. Nah, y'all just <laughs> making up excuses. No, I'm, I'm, I, I see it both nah, ways. Bro. Oh, you tripping. Look, what they I'm don't saying, want no one man to, to monopolize the league. Listen to what I'm players. saying. We won't have that problem again. Is if you take the richest person with color 
and they try to buy your team, but to them, it's Who not the worth person The guy from Nigeria. Why would he want an NFL American? Exactly. Don't know about Nobody. That. That's what I'm telling you. that he would get a soccer team. He don't You're know nothing about American football. You're not listening to what I'm saying. The people that actually have the money to keep in with these other billionaires, they don't want. They don't but want you teams. Named a man in Africa, they sport is. I'm therefore what I'm saying soccer, is our football. guys w- because when you look at the list, right? Mm-hmm. We have people from America, Jay Z, and I'm on the list. But you got to go all the way down to the one point something so, billion. What I'm saying is they're not on multiple billions. So they what don't matter if you got what, multiple. What, what would give them the incentive then to want to do these high bids if it's not a good investment? They want the team too. That's right. like if you go to an auction for okay, a car. Okay. If you go to the <laughs> auction for a car, How is it not and a good we investment vote, when every team every year goes. Right. You forgetting about the TV money, the. Bro, Bro, a, some a, people, a some, some people lose money on. Everybody don't make money off the NFL. Who ain't making money in the NFL? We don't. I'm, what listen, I'm saying is, you, listen, so on, we have no, teams in the NFL that mis- don't sell you, out. Hold on, they don't this sell out. You. This is a mistake you're making. If the t- if teams cannot sell out stadiums. For, for maybe three, four, five years. But you're they, forgetting about the TV, TV contracts. That I they know got. that They're always making money. That's a chunk of money. You still paying people. You still paying employees. Hey, at the, you them paying TV a contracts lot of, is billions of dollars, dog. Yes, but they're breaking it down through every team in the league. It's yes. one big check for every team they, in the league. Yes, and they Come all on, eating man. off that shit. When they, I'm, they eating off of uh, merchandise. Fucking um, shit. They're selling. What the I'm saying. Industry. All I'm saying is the guys of color skin that want an NFL team, they don't have the money to get an NFL team. Nigga, if they got enough, they or don't the want... a white so, guy to put the team as so use the team as a trophy so, case, so, basically, is what all. he's saying. That, okay, nah, so, so what I'm saying is, all right, let's, let's just say hypothetically speaking, one of these rich guys from Nigeria, somewhere over there, they decide they want a team. P. Diddy is trying to buy a team. And they bump him out for two point eight million and buy it. Are they just blocking him because they don't want an American on the team? No, no, they just want the team. So you're gonna spend the money you, you have know it's to their get the owners team. board. They anybody just can't buy right, a team. right. But That's you have, have to bid on like the it. team first. But, After you bid on the team, then it goes to the owners board. But my At, point is. No, even if didn't had enough money to pay for the team, if he had four or five other investors, if they had enough money, the board can block them and say, You're, no, but yeah, they're not worthy of the yes, team. Yes, but where, what guy. I'm saying is that didn't happen. We never got there but because they point, don't have the money to do it. But even if they had more money than the motherfucker, You hypothetically excuse me, speaking. But you're talking about, un- nigga, it's the reason why there's never been a black owner. And it's the reason why it's a because struggle. Because they don't even, have the money. Excuse, it's a struggle to even get a coach that got more experience than a guy who never Coach as the, in the NFL at that level and okay. becomes a head coach of a dude. Oh, okay, who been in the let NFL me ask you this: He's been a player in everything. The guy that owned BT, if I'm not mistaken, he was the first Kirk person to own a, a, a NBA team. What's his name? Bob Something Johnson. Bob Johnson. Mm-hmm. And now, now Michael Jordan owns it. Mm-hmm. Why did Bob Johnson? Why was he able to buy? Because he had the money. He had the money to stay in the bid at the time. What I'm telling you, you know is, how long ago he got the money. I mean, the team he, he it bought was the, affordable. He, if, if if the Panthers came up for sale years ago, he could have had more and more than the money. He could have got the team, right, but, but he still wouldn't have got the team because he's fucking no, black. You're, you're, you're saying blind, hypothetically man. speaking, you're blind. bro. You don't know that. You're blind. You don't man. know that. You what don't I'm, know that ain't nobody black with enough money was able to get a team. You don't know that either. We haven't seen it. That means you don't know. That Diddy that dropped happen. out of the bid. What the you fuck know that yes, because okay. I sent you the he article. Out of the bid. Okay, but then Diddy ran around and made a movie about it. Like they don't want blacks to own. What I'm saying nigga, is, they didn't want blacks to own before Diddy even came up. Nigga, oh, Diddy ran about? a movie. This don't if got you nothing never, to do with Diddy. Yes, it did it because comes, because if you if if you do first of all, you the one that mentioned Diddy when me and you was yes, going back as a nigga and who I tried sent, to and they shot and, him down. And I sent they didn't shoot him down. It's a difference from saying no, you can't own this team to somebody outbidding you bro my man it's easy for you to say oh you got enough you you got this money you got investors to even be considered oh okay i'm gonna go find somebody else that i know that i know has more money than you and pull them in who's the owner of the uh, carolina panthers right now 
A motherfucker uh, we don't even know. Exactly. Somebody with money. Exactly. And a, a we don't know who we don't know has, majority of the owners. Who probably Stop it, bro. Has no interest in football. They just know this my man. I'm gonna get you in, bro. That's that's like that, your man. theory, that shit is a bro. You, boys club, you man. falling for that movie? You, you been blind for that movie, man? You blind to the fact like it ain't no motherfucking racism going on out here in these streets. What I'm saying is, one when I see somebody get the bid because we've seen white people get bids. Where they actually bid it on the NFL team, I believe cool. Trump will be one of them, but cool. it'll be on the when screen. Did Trump bid it for NFL team? Back in the day, bro, when he had the money. When? It'll be on the screen. The two people that, that bid it on teams, and they both were white. They won the bid and the NFL neglected them. One was one was Donald Trump, if I'm not mistaken. You said and, NFL neglected them, right? Yeah. So what makes you think if they neglect a motherfucker like they Donald still Trump, they're not gonna neglect somebody? What I'm like saying this. is you've never had a story. Where the NFL has neglected, no, we're not going to let you purchase the team because we've never had a person of color have the that money we to win a bid. Know of. You, you just speaking on something you don't know of either. That doesn't mean it hasn't happened. A lot of shit hasn't happened. So it went to claim out by now? A lot of shit we Pause. didn't know about till it comes out. Pause. We wouldn't have known about it right now? I don't know. Diddy would have been said, oh, it's a lie. I didn't drop out at $2 billion. He would have been said that. Listen, maybe he did Come get outbid it, but my point is, if Donald Trump can get shot down by the NFL, what makes you think they're not going to shoot down a black man? A it's status? a difference, though. Donald Trump had the money to win a bid. You're trying to say what they would do Yo, when you, nobody has ever won you a bid. You're talking, talking about, hypothetically. You Come on, about, man. I'm not hypothetically speaking. You anything. are, you because nobody the, has won a bid to right, say that. Let me that. know when you finish, man. Go ahead. You keep talking about the money aspect. You just said Donald Trump had enough money, right? But you also they shot him down, right? Yes. This is the point I'm making. Even if a black man has enough money, how do you know that if it's never happened? That's what I'm asking you. Because I know. Because how do you know? It's not how many a- NFL. How, how, did you see that? You you know what the Rooney Rule is? That they have to interview. They have to interview a black guy for a head coach. We're not guy. talking about Excuse coaching. No. We're talking about an owner. This all comes into play. Yeah, they're discriminating on the coaches. So I, 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 the we're fact. not talking if about. They don't want black guys to coach my team. What makes you think I want black guys to own the team in my league? We don't know that because we've never had a black guy have the Excuse money to own the team. We know that on. they don't want no black. We don't know that. Head we're coaching. assuming coaching. that. Are we assuming that? That they don't want black guys coaching? We're talking about owning Excuse the team. Excuse me. I'm, it all comes in the same thing. Come on, man. If I don't, if I wouldn't hire. John, are you assuming that? If I wouldn't hire somebody to work I, for me, who makes you think I want to work next to somebody? Are you assuming that? I, I, that a black person, if they had the money on. to win a bid, that they what? would still get turned down? Yes. I, all I'm saying at this point, it, it, I wouldn't put it past it, but I haven't seen anything. Simple as that. My thing is, if I wouldn't hire this guy to work for me, why would I want a guy working next to me? If I want to hire a black guy to work for me, who makes me think I want a black you guy to work for me? You can hire whoever you want to work exactly. for Exactly. And that's why you notice. Know that's why they even had to even put in a Rooney Rule. But that's I do work believe to, that money to interview the black guy. I still have to hire him, but I got to interview him. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna end, I'm gonna, let me end it off like this. We go to the auction to buy a car, right? And three times in a row, we keep going to the car, and and it's every not time the same thing. You can't it is this. It's an auction. Not. It's not if the it, same so thing. So I'm at, let me finish it's my not, question. No. So if every time same. you go to the auction and try to buy a car, and a white man outbids you, is that be, the same, it is the dog. same? What's because the black difference? men outbid you too, and they let them get the car. What's the difference? The difference though? is. The, auction, the black man at the auction got the money for the car yeah, to keep bid. No, but the difference is the NFL is a billionaire's boys club, and that's why they have at the auction, they don't have a board of motherfuckers that say, all right, you want to bid, but you can't have the car. I'm going to go with him. They don't have that at the auction. What they I'm saying, the NFL and what I'm saying, like all we seen in the NFL is white owners get so denied the, the franchise. They want to bid. If, they, if this is my point. If the per- if it was all about the highest bidder, what would be the having? What would be the purpose of having a board that says even if you outbid this man, I can turn you down because I don't like the way well, you do this? No, 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 no. Their their exact reason for it is because even though you might have the money, you might you might be let's just say for instance, and I don't want to arouse nothing. You might be a satanist and you promote. De- you this you could be team. anything yes. and have the money to buy it. That's why they have the board. If your image is not right, that's Which why is the Donald. Black image. Man, no, is no, no, no. You're oh, missing. Man. You're still trying to make it a black it's image. It's a black and white thing. You, the fact that you not, don't see this is beyond me. Show me who's been denied. There was a black. Listen, they're they not going to straight out say, I'm going to deny you. They're going to get somebody else to outbid them. It's simple. 
That's your conspiracy. What's your that's thoughts? Your that's your conspiracy. That's you know that you're saying they're getting <laughs> other people out. Come on, Come man. on man. You j- y'all just reach. Ninety percent of people don't even need the team. This is our that's conspiracy like corner, people. Please keep it a C note. Our black owners. Are there not enough black owners in the NFL and all sporting leagues because these leagues want to bo- black box out the blacks? Or is it because they don't have the money to buy the teams? Keep it a C note with us. Um, let's talk, since we was talking Carolina Panthers, let's go top five current duos because preseason is over. The regular season is about to start. This is gonna let's be go. Wide receiver duos coming into the season. Who's the top five wide receiver duos in the NFL? Keep it a C note. <laughs> Keep it a C note. Number five, I'm going to go with the Rams because they got Cup. Y'all still got Bobby Woods? Nah, we Y'all got, got Cup. Allen. Allen. Yeah, A-Rod. Like A-Rod. A-Rod. I'm going to go with them. Okay, shout out to that. And number five. Number four, I'm going to go with the uh, Raiders with Adams and Renfro. Okay, shout out to that. Number three, I'm going to go with the Niners, with Debo and IU. Okay. Number uh, two, I'm going to go with uh, the Vikings with Jefferson and Thielen. Okay. And number one, I'm going to go with the, uh, the Bucks with Evans and Godwin. Okay, shout out to that. Who you got, John? Keep it a C. No, I like that list, but I don't know why I was biased against Adam Thielen. Uh, Ain't coming off the injury. Yeah, because last couple of seasons. But look, let me get the mind. And and number five, as y'all know, by default, I'm putting my team in, and I actually feel that way. AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. Okay, shout out to that. Say it with your chest, then, boy. And my number five, the Eagles, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. Number four, I got uh, Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro. Okay. Number three, I got uh, Bengals, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. Okay. Number two, I got Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk. Number one, I got Cooper Cup and Allen Robinson. Okay, shout out to that, John. Now, I want to give a disclaimer before we start that certain people like Minnesota did not make my list because of Adam Thielen's injury, and Mm -hmm. certain people are lower because they may have a receiver coming off of um, injury and also disclaimer I have I, this is my top five coming into the season this is not who I think will finish number one so at number five just because of the quarterback we don't know what the quarterback is I'm going to go Tyreek Hill Jalen Waddle I think if Tua can play you know what I mean and that that duo is going to be lethal um at number four I got a uh, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, and that's because Godwin coming off an injury. At three, I got my boys Cooper Cup, A. Rob, Allen Robinson. I think they will end up being statistically the best duo, but coming into the season, I got them at three. Number two, I got Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro. You know what I mean? I think they're gonna have a great season. And number one, I got to go to runner up in the Super Bowl. I got to go Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, wow. because of their quarterback. Their quarterback is nice, but people are giving T. Higgins way too he nice. much credit. He's okay. He's 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 okay, okay. but Brandon T. Higgins is way better than Brandon Ayuk. Says, how? Because says the stats. Says what? Stats? That's all we can go off of is the stats. Oh, so oh, I'm glad. I'm listen. <laughs> I'm glad that you. I'm glad you allow me to set you up like this. So since we're going off of stats. Debo Samuels is better than most of the stats on people that you just named. Better than who? who Mike you know? Evans. Mike Evans Debo is Samuels stacked. Numbers was better than Debo. Mike, Mike, Mike Evans is stack pack every year. Hold on, but you said going into this year. So Debo Samuels numbers was better than Mike Evans last year. What's yes, but I'm not okay. still going off one year. Debo Samuels your, had Your number one... one is two one-year niggas. What are you talking about? Chase and, and um, what's the name? They have a stack last year. One year, T, who? T Higgins, yes, they, have, they did, T and they went to the. Yes, like, he did. I ain't talking about this year. They just passed up the year prior. They went to the Super Bowl, my I nigga. You not listening? I said they're, I are listening. They're number one listen. coming. Listen, you're I, not, not listening. this year. Just you're passed. not listening to they're me. Not listening. They're number one on my duos because they're coming back. They're the same duo that, that was shit. just the runner up in the that Super Bowl. So my 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 thing is this. If it was Cooper, they went to the Super Bowl, they hit number listen, one. listen. No, if no. it was Cooper and Bobby Woods or Cooper and Odell, they would have been number one because they were in my book. So the, you're putting them strictly because they went to the Super Bowl. Who? 
T. Higgins and, and they face. had they both with snack packs and they got a better quarterback than your quarterback. And T. Higgins. Okay. Everything right, with T. Let's, Higgins let's, is let's, better. Let me, let me, let me break it down how you're not making sense. Jamar Chase had. Who's was, a better quarterback? Tom who, Brady, who or, was, who Tom was, Brady or Joe Burrow? Huh? Who's the better quarterback? Tom Brady or Joe Burrow? Last year, Joe Burrow was. Joe Burrow was. Come on, man. Come, come on, man. You come just on, say anything you, for your argument, man. Last year, Why was Joe Burrow. Which because he, he went, went to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Exactly, what do you my mean? Point. That shows you know nothing. He about got football, them to the Super Bowl. Stop just because that. you go to Super Bowl, he got, who me. got them to the Super Bowl? He did. Okay, then that's all we but talking just, about. What, what else are we talking about? Excuse what, me. He want to say hold on for. But, what, what, <laughs> what else is there to talk? All right, go ahead. Just because you get to the Super Bowl does not make you better than the next man because they didn't get to the Super Bowl. You just asked me. Teams. What I'm what saying is Joe about? Burrow took the team. Than Tom Brady. Joe Burrow not took that Rodgers. team from worst to the Super Bowl. Him. Him. He did that. No, he definitely he made Jamar. He's the reason mm-hmm. Jamar Chase broke a rookie record. So if you're talking about duos, you can say Debo ain't better than Jamar Chase. Debo numbers is better than Jamar Chase's numbers. Jamar Chase came in from the gun bus and did that. Debo, so it took point? him three years. Come on, man. Knock okay. it off. You, uh, listen, off you, you always say it took him three years. Um, when we talk about top five receivers, you had Diggs in your top uh, yes, five. And, and it took him four years to get a stack. And, I, and yes, and so shout, out, point? shout out to whoever sent yeah. the comment on YouTube. It will be on the screen because I agree with them. What? When 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 Diggins first made his stack, he wasn't top five. No, he just, excuse oh, me. All right, then. So what is your theory is my, all? My point is he's one of your tops, right? Now. Yeah. Now, but after multiple me, years of having thousand yards, me, just because a guy. What, what I'm telling you is, shout out to this. The, the comment will be on the screen okay. because you got that off last week. What I'm saying is, Diggs' first year of having a thousand yards, which what you said was his fourth year, yeah. he didn't go right into my top five. That's what I'm saying. So your theory is still no, wrong. Diggs is in my top five Excuse right me. now because You're he's had me, multiple just years. Just because a guy gets a thousand yards in his first or second year makes him better. The guy that gets a thousand yards in his third year, that makes zero sense. For one, how many guys what? get hold on? Let me let me get this off. How many guys get a stack in their first year? Not many. Where's that? Hold on, you answer my question. How many guys get a stack in their first year? How many of the greats got a stack in their first year? It doesn't matter. Oh, bro. It does what, matter. what I'm saying you is no, you're not answering my question. Don't look, go on to something else. Answer listen, my question. Your first year is either one thing you're gonna have record breaking numbers on your first year. Okay. And that's going to automatically elevate you. When did Cooper Cup become top five uh, to you? Time out. That automatically elevates you to the place or the numbers okay. is going to put you there. When did Cooper Cup become top five to you? He became top five after he just triple this crowned year. and won the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. Yes. This year? Okay. Yes. I can respect As the Super Bowl okay. MVP? Okay. Yes. I can respect All right. that. All right, listen. Let's do a little no cap, call him a Uber before we get out of here. No cap, call him a Uber. The Miami Dolphins will make the playoffs this year. Is that no cap? Call them a Uber. They got Waddle. The they, they got Tyreek Hill. They got Tua. They the got Xavier. And they got the Patriots and all like them. Said, Buffalo. If, if Tua is oh, on, no, they're if, not making the playoffs. No, if Tua is on point, so that's call them a Uber. I don't think they're I'm right. saying no cap. If Tua is on point, and, yep. That's an I, if, though. I, Dolphins can be all right. I still think I, and, the and they got is, is And they be still got Xavion and all them. I'm talking about none of that. I'm a, I agree with you, John. I ain't really got nothing in my cup. Didn't the Patriots just I'm, make the playoffs last year? Yeah, and yeah, Mac I Jones know. is regressing. So I'm going to go. I, what do you mean? You didn't <laughs> Tua see ain't never even get Mac to that Jones, level. They talking see. about Jones might lose his third Tua job. Tua ain't even get to the level to say he's regressing. Oh, Mac Jones what I'm saying is right now I got it as no cap. I got them. I got yeah. Miami making Hold the playoffs. Hold on. See, this is this is what I'm saying. How you be contradicting yourself? You're saying these guys, Waddle and them was this, that, and the third because they went to the Super Bowl, but you're not giving Waddle and them was what? Because they not Waddle, um, Jamar Chase and them because they went to the Super Bowl, right. but you're not giving Mac Jones and them any credit, and they went to the playoffs in uh, Miami and go fucking nowhere, and they're in the same oh, division. Did you just not hear what I said? No. I had Tyreek Hill and uh, and Waddle as my number five. I what said the fuck they mean? can Who go hot. If they can go, that's what exactly what I said. They can go higher. It all depends on two. Right. If right. though you're speaking hypotheticals, the same yes. thing you just told so me. Right now, but as we a, know Mac Jones going to the playoffs. Time out. What I'm saying is, if you look, if you all you got to do is have eyes. <laughs> I know you've seen they it. Tua, Tua. What I'm saying Tua is, what? Tua has been putting that thing on the money, bro. When? He played last year, right? We're how talking much, about coming into year? the year. So you tell me a preseason he's putting shit no, on the No, I'm not. I'm talking about in them little scrimmages, baby. I'm exactly. not even talking about. Exactly, games that don't count, right? Yes. Yeah, come on. You know why, you know why it does count? 
Because them the only games we play, and we just won the Super Bowl off doing that. So what are you talking about? We won the Super Bowl off there. We off for doing that. We don't play our starter. We we're the ones that started this trend. We don't play our starters at all. All our big games in the coming into the season is scrimmages. So you're saying you don't play starters in the scrimmages? We do in pre. pre We don't play them in preseason. All our big games. So what's the purpose of you saying that though? All because you said that scrimmages don't mean shit. What I'm saying is our team came together off scrimmages last year. Matthew Stafford, the first time he played with the Rams was on a scrimmage, and they looked good in scrimmages. They went to the Super Bowl. So when you saying two of them. What do you mean? So, so you're telling me because two are looking at scrimmage, you going to scrimmage. What I'm saying, no. Come what on, I'm man. telling you is I can hold that Come as on, weight that Tua is looking accurate in them scrimmages. I can hold that as My weight. Man, you just told me don't speak in hypotheticals, but you yet you did the same thing. With I Miami can hold Dolphins. that as weight. No, I you see can't. them. You, Tua's okay, having you a way hold, better coming to the season you, than Matt Jones hold that as weight. For Mac Jones actually went to the soup to the Mac playoffs. Jones, hold on. did you not hold on? Mac Jones went to the playoffs with that team last year. Tua didn't go to the playoffs. Let me with ask that team you something, year. Vito. On, Vito, Don't you can't that. be drunk because you ain't been that. drinking. It ain't nothing in my cup. You ain't been drinking. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That's you point. can't be. You <laughs> can't be drunk. You can't did be you miss the point where I said Mac Jones might lose his? He might not so be who? weak starter so one who? to their backup. Who their backup? You don't even know his name. So how the fuck you gonna say you lose his job to a nigga you never even heard of? Because exactly. it's on the internet. Right. So if it's on the it's internet, on the screen. you would know the ball fucking No, in. I don't got to know. He's a rookie. Who? He's a, he's, he's a new one. player. He can't be doing that much if his name ain't ringing no fucking Look it up, John. Before you... but on, We'll man. go to the next one. You look it up, John, about Same who is... Okay, but it will be on the screen. And the call of my Uber will be over top of your head because you always just freestyle and whatever. No, you you talking about you Mac Jones. You talking you about Mac Jones? Mac Jones might not even be the star exactly. this year. That's I don't know his name, but you I just made some okay. Shit well, John to find it. No cat. Call him a Uber. Hunter Renfro will lead the Las Vegas Raiders in receptions and yards this year. Is that no cap? Call him a Uber. Oh man, I was as a chance possibility of being no cat. That ball, he was catching everything. Uh... I feel there's like everybody eight. should move down, but he still can lead. He the had over a sack last year. Yeah, he still it, can lead yeah. the receptions and yards because that's like his his go to man yeah. in the clutch. Brian Hoyer. Brian. <laughs> no, Billy <laughs> Zap. Who? Yeah, Billy Zap. That's who it is. Come it, on, that's that nigga's the third one on the fucking depth chart. That's who they're saying should start. But who's they saying he should start? The New England Patriots fans and <laughs> analysts. Analysts and fans. Exactly my point. Freestyle shit. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? And you ain't had no coaches say no shit like that. Come Bro, on, man. What did you say about Hunter? Did y'all both got? I got it. No cap. No I think I Hunter. No, it's possible. I got no I, cap. I, I, I got Hunter Renfro leading yeah. the league. I'm um, leading the Raiders in both yeah. receptions he, he and yards. Man. Um, what's your thoughts on it, people? No cap, call him a Uber. Hunter Renfro will lead the Vegas Raiders in receptions and yards this year. Keep it a C note with us. Next one. No cap, call him a Uber. Saquon Barkley will rush for a thousand yards this year. Is that no cap? Call him a Uber. Call him a Uber. Uh, only way he rushes for a thousand yards is if he get traded. I would like if he could stay healthy, yeah, but I don't see him staying healthy. I don't healthy. even think so. I don't think they upgraded their line enough. It's all they receivers enough to where as though that takes some some tension off of him. Oh, you can look all day. You ain't gonna find nothing on that. Okay, yeah, I also agree. Um, call him a Uber. I don't think Saquon is rushing for a thousand yards. You know what I mean? That's just my thoughts. But what's your thoughts on it, people? Saquon Barkley, keep it a C note. Will he rush for? He will rush for a thousand yards this season. Is that no cap? Call him a Uber. Next one, no cap. Call him a Uber. The Minnesota Vikings will win the NFC North this year. Is that no cap or call him a Uber? Let's call him a Uber. I don't think they can. I still don't think. Talking to beat, Mike Vita. I still don't think they could beat Green Bay. Even though I like, I like the Vikings a lot. But I still, they still I'm, can't I'm, beat Green Bay. I'm calling it no cap. No cat, why? Because they ain't uh, Green Bay. I think was their biggest. Nah, ain't gonna be the Bears. Uh, Green Bay was their biggest. Uh, I think uh, opponent uh, in that division. But 
uh, without Devontae. No, I mean, I, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, yo, which McCall, I think is a great quarterback. I think they're going to go far. But which McCall, I, I like the Vikings and how they stack. I do Pause. too. I feel yeah. like they got a better overall team, but yeah. I feel like they just can't beat them. They can't beat who? Green Bay. Um, I'm I'm gonna go out on the limb with you. You said no cap, right, John? Yeah. Shout out to that. I'm gonna go out of no cap. I'm gonna say, bar an injury, Dalvin Cook and them guys, mm. they will win that NFC yeah, North. But let back. me ask y'all this though. Let me spin that right, because we've all said it multiple times, right? We don't know what Devontae is gonna be without Aaron Rodgers, mm. right? So. Let's just hypothetically say, because Vito like playing hypothetically. If 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 Aaron so Rodgers' numbers dip this year, is Aaron if Aaron Rodgers' numbers dip this year, is it mean Devontae is a little bit better than we giving him credit for? And that he might have kept he might have preserved no, Aaron Rodgers. If Devontae Adams numbers stay this close or stay the same, then he's better than we gave him credit for. If Aaron Rodgers' numbers dip, his numbers just dip because we've seen Aaron Rodgers without Devontae Adams still look like Aaron Rodgers. So nobody's going to say if Devontae numbers is still the same, nobody's going to say, ah, well, he got a better receiving core where they got a double team. No, this Devon, one. listen, even with or without Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams is still nice. Now, t- number one, that's, now, that's but, arguable. But the question is, will Aaron Rodgers it, be nice it, without it, him? With it, if Aaron his num- nice no, without no, 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 no. Well, the reason why I'm asking you, Vito, is because you say Aaron Rodgers make people. So what I'm saying is, this first year, if his numbers dip, then it means it means what? It don't mean Devontae made him look a little bit better? No. What does it mean? Now? It means Aaron Rodgers' numbers just dip for whatever reason. If Devontae Adams' numbers stay close or the same or better to what it is with Aaron Rodgers with their car, then I would say we I give him the credit he deserves he, even though I feel like he's still probably the number one receiver, I would say he's better than I thought he was because I'm feel like Aaron Rodgers gave him because we seen what Aaron Rodgers do for receivers. What you got to say about that? You seen what Jordy Nelson was? What what, 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 what you got Rodgers. to say about that, John? A top five receiver. If 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 Aaron Rodgers doesn't have the same type of season, then they're going to put it like on his receiving core. I think Green Bay right. people that are Green Bay fans are going to say he didn't have the wide right. receivers, but I, people outside looking in is going to be like, no, nah, right. bro, that's yeah. you. It was right. you. That's and exactly you had a, how they want to say it. Vito, you had a, you had a, you had a I'm, I'm glad receiver. you say enough. Thank you, John. Let's do a shot. Thank you. <laughs> Vito, Vito, I want you to. No, no, no. I'm wow. glad you saying that. I'm Vito, just, I want you to. No, no, no. Time out. Time out. This episode 84. Vito, I want you to look into the cameras right now. <laughs> okay. Keep it a C note with the cameras. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers has a bad year. They don't make the playoffs, and his numbers is not the same. You're not going to say what John just said most people no, are going to. No, because I've seen Aaron Rodgers win a fucking Super Bowl without Devontae Adams. So your excuse is <laughs> going to be what, then? There's no excuse. But Aaron Rodgers of, is that ball whether they make the playoffs or not. What the fuck at, is you talking about? At the end of the about? season, if Packers do bad, Green Bay Packers about, fans will blame that they didn't have a wide receiver. Yeah, and people that are... I was just and, making sure and, and, you don't use and, and that. People, and, 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 and then people in the NFL world are going to look at it We're like, yo, he needed a superstar yes, so wide what is, what is What are you going to say? He He's just had a bad year. No, but what is your reason for the bad year? It was just a bad year? Yeah, everybody oh, okay. has bad years. What okay. are you talking about? Everybody, oh. You don't cook every single year of your career. Okay. Last oh. one. No cap, call him a Uber. The Kansas City Chiefs will not win the AFC West this year. Is that no cap or call him a Uber? That's no cap. Talking care. to the mic. Right, we got to get That's this no one. no cap. I don't think they're going to win the AFC. Okay. I, I, Who, I, where, I would almost you? agree with that, too. Talking to the mic. We uh, I agree get all... with that, too. Uh, no... No cat. If any year this year they don't, don't. Win, if, if any year that they don't win the what is it the AFC West West yeah it's going to be, this, be year. this year yeah. All right, shout out to that y'all. Even though Vito ain't had a drink all show, yes I did. You know what I mean? I, I agree with y'all. I think this year Kansas City will not win the AFC West. But what's your thoughts on it, people? No cat. Call them a Uber. 
this year, KFC, Kansas City Chiefs, they will not. I'm hungry. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs, they will not win the AFC West. Is that no cap? Call them a Uber. Say it with your chest. Anything to say with yeah, your chest? Yeah, I, I actually got something to say. Okay, um, say I was it doing, with your chest. I was doing some research, right? And I found about this guy, James Fortin. And he was a Philadelphian uh, from here. Uh, he was like, the, honestly, he was like the black. I'm not going to say black Donald Trump, but he was the big black businessman, Melanie man here in Philadelphia back in 1766. He, well, that's when he was born, but he's from Philly. Okay. And while reading about him and all the business ventures, he did a lot of big things in Philly that, um, that I, I, I sometimes can embellish. And sometimes if I, if you don't know the research, you got to do the research. So there was somebody that left a comment and, and shout out to that person about, uh, what was the comment? It about? was something about the slaves and, and, and stuff like that. And I, and that's the difference between stupids and ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. And I was ignorant to the fact of this, but I, I didn't want to believe it, but okay. well, no, but it was about slaves and about slaves actually owning other slaves. And I, and I had a hard time, Fathering that, I was like, blacks oh, owning black, others, blacks okay. owning other black slaves, and and I had to do some research. It's not much out there. It's not much, but if you could find some articles. I found a really good article on the the root, and and it, and it really gave me an insight of what, what was going on. So, I, I, shout out to that viewer for for checking me as you should. Uh, Let me check you on those. Exactly. No, because I, I I could not believe that like blacks we 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 was enslaved. Yeah. Uh, so you saying basically when you were saying last week name the uh, black person uh, you couldn't see him. I yeah, know what you're saying. See, I couldn't I couldn't see a black person owning another black person oh, yeah. during slavery it's, it's time. Documented. It, yeah. it, it, it is that, but I, I had to find it was hard. I, like I'm not like one of these new. Folks were like, I know Instagram is and social media. They're giving us information at a lightning speed nowadays, right. and I and I'm playing catch up. I read books old school, okay. so I, I, I'm still catching up. So I mean, but shout out to to Bull, but uh, yes, but black people bought and sold other black people back then, and this has been going and it happened since 1654 all the way up until the to the Civil War. And most, most, but I will say, most purchases were family members. Uh, they were, fa uh, uh, and they used it, uh, to, to save their family. Basically, yeah. But, but there was other people that had, that bought slaves, blacks, uh, uh, that bought it for personal interest. Uh, they used them for labor, for their property. They, they even still gave them a better life, but you, yo, you're going to come work for me and right. do the same thing. Um, and even, I, I found out that even back then that blacks could even own white indentured servants. So. Like we even had white slaves back then at the same time too, right. so that 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 was uh, mind boggling. Hold so on, hold on, hold on. Uh, would you say a white indentured servant? Yes, yeah. I'm hearing today ain't no fucking white slaves. No, yeah, yeah, blacks yeah, well, had white slaves. Yeah, all right, all right. But so here, here's some facts that uh, blacks owned slaves in Boston by 1724, in Connecticut by 1783. Okay, and uh, in 19 in 1790, 48 uh. Black people owned 143 slaves in Maryland, and that was in 19, uh, 1790. I'm sorry, I keep okay. saying that. Um, there were some vicious uh, black folks back then that actually uh, bought slaves and did it for bad purposes, but they had the money to flaunt, and, they, and some people did it for social for social status, too. Like, right. look, my land is going to be just as good, blase, blase. But to break it down, in 1830, they did the census, even though... I don't believe the census to the fullest. I don't because, like, I believe that us, us folks, we were here way before that that slave ship or whatever that they claim came right. here. But they say, uh, 1830, 13.7% of the black people that was freed, which is 30, at the time, it was out of 320,000, uh, was freed. 13% of that, so that would make 3,800 uh, 3, uh, slaves. And out of those 3,800 slaves, I mean, uh, free people, out of those 3,800 free people, they own twelve, almost 1,300 slaves. I mean, 13,000 slaves. Right. And, and another thing, though, that yeah. I seen, though, did you know that certain white people, after they enslaved people and they was done because they said they had contracts, yeah. Certain people, after they got done their contracts, the white slave owners gave oh, them land. And, and that's another thing. I came upon, right. like, even I do remember reading books where people were bought out of their slavery. There, there's, yeah, there right. is contract, and there's you are able to buy out of your contract and, and move forward. So, uh, yeah, that was definitely a, a, a something new for me. Shout out to to the bull. 
Uh, definitely, anybody that's watching, keep it to see. No, drop a comment. I don't mind if y'all fucking right. check me. I'll let, do my let me work. let me ask you this though, John. Before we wrap it up, because I seen another comment. So when I watched the episode from last week, when we did respect the loyalty, mm -hmm. I noticed that you kept saying sometimes people are loyal to a, a person that's leading them astray. Yeah. But what I think the question was was. Would you rather somebody respect you or be loyal to you? That's what the question okay, was. But see, and I don't think you really yeah, answered I mean, the question. Yeah, because, I mean, if I if I didn't have loyalty in my corner, I can get killed at any minute by people around me. And, I mean, and that has nothing to do with respect. But the way I was looking at respect was from a different era. And I was looking at it from a militant standpoint. Like, I, I hate that we went through certain wars and we fought in these wars against some Viacom or whoever. Right. And we had nothing to do with that. And But since we're here, we got to follow. We got to right. be look. And, and that was the stance I was looking at on a, on a grand scale, though. Okay, so to wrap this show up, I'm going to just paraphrase because somebody left a comment on YouTube and they were saying that Jay-Z respected Dame mm -hmm. because he brung, he put money in the Dame and brung him up. But he was loyal, because our Vito always say, he was loyal to Ty Ty and those guys because those are his guys. So he respected Dame enough to say, listen, mm -hmm. we can redo a deal, but you got to take less. Yep. But he was loyal enough to Ty Ty to say, even though you didn't put nothing in, you going to be yeah. with me right now. And, that's what's and he mentioned bleak. So I guess uh, about being in the will. So I guess that was his definition. Like he respected Dane, but he's loyal to them guys. But, Yep, but is same, that no cap? Call him over. That's, 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 that's no okay. cap when you put it in that way. But I want everybody out there to also go look at Dame Dash because the same question was asked to him. Would he uh, take respect to loyalty? Right. And he took respect. I mean, he gave his perspective. Um, uh, and I respect. I mean, I understand most of it. And that was kind of the lines that I was looking at. But I also, I mean, after thinking about it, I mean, if you want to survive and you want to be around here you, with the folks around you, you have to. They they have to be loyal. Listen, you know why I feel like th now this is just my opinion on why I feel like Dame chose respect. I feel like he he probably felt like he was loyal to Jay Z and, and Jay Z right. chose the other side, right? And he felt like he would pick respect because yeah. he was going at niggas for Jay for a lack of respect or whatever the case right. may be. He felt, but he was burning his bridge. The whole time because he's disrespecting all these other. That's why nobody wants to work with that nigga to this day. Yeah. But listen, on that note. Jay said, nobody's something about billionaires until Hove did. No more billionaires. I, is it cool? Because they ain't signed Kanye. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see Jay getting credit for Rihanna. He signed Rihanna. But is, is it cool? And, and LeBron didn't have nothing to do nah, with nothing. Just being, <laughs> he was just a kid coming. But what I'm saying, he is it cool for nation. Jay to take credit yes. for, why you say yes? Because it's if Kanye, Talking to Mike, if we got Kanye would have stayed with Dame, he would not be the way he got right now. What you got to say about that? I guy? don't know because to Kanye West, what got him rich was his sneakers, and I do agree with that. The Yeezys jumped over the jump man, he said it, right? And I believe that, right? That's and why he, I, 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 I mean, shout Adidas, out to that, but, yeah, but you know, when they jumped over, uh huh, recent years, they didn't jump over Time out. back then. Time out, let me ask y'all this though, right? Because, um. Who who you said was you said Guru broke the lyrics? Yeah, he he's it. a producer, right? Yeah. Um, keep it a C note. If 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 Kanye never got signed to a record deal, would he have Yeezys? No. no. Okay then. So be Dame is no no. Dame is the reason. Dame's behind the that. reason who got first and foremost. He was producer. So Dame even if got he didn't him get the rap. A, even if he didn't he get the record the deal, track. he still was a producer making money. He Listen. was producing for these. That's how he even got in the room with these dudes to rap. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying, what got him on through the wire, and Jay wasn't behind none of that. That was oh, all Dame. Okay. That I, was Dame. I, I how think. many dudes did Dame sign that became billionaires? Zero. Dame signed two of them. Who? Jay Z and Kanye Dame, West. How did Dame sign Jay Z? What do you mean? How that, did he sign him? That was his artist. Okay, so what, what record label? That Rockefeller was um, Dame's label? No. Okay. No, but what I'm saying is 
signing. We, we no, talk okay. about signing is the money. Who is the money? They all put no, money. No, they up wasn't. There. So Jay Z put no was, money up. The money was Jay-Z, Dame, Dame and, and Biggs. Ain't put no money up. The money was Dames and Biggs. Says bro. you, because you are a Jay Z hater. It, it's, no, what? it's documented. Where? What's the document? It's show documented. Me. I would love Dame to see. had the money. They went and got Biggs for the rest see. of the money. Okay, bro. show me. Come on, man. Okay, show me. And for the record. Dame sign. Who else did they? You say Dame sign Kanye. Kanye. Okay, two but, of the. Two. But without Jay, Kanye don't become who he comes. And think about this: anybody else, Dame so called sign that so, didn't go with Jay Z, what so, happened to them? So let me ask you this though, oh, right? Damn, right? Let me let me ask you the flip side <laughs> of that. Yeah, let me ask you the flip side of this, right? State prop. Time out. Let me ask you the flip side of that. If Jay Z, let's just let's just say uh, Biggs is there right now with Jack. If it's Jay and Dame and they cut Biggs out, which Dame got cut out because he didn't want to cut Biggs out. If Dame get if they cut Biggs out, what is You said Dame got cut because he didn't want to cut Biggs out? Yeah. Don't Biggs fuck with JVC right now? Yes. That's, that's why it's that's why it's bad. Dame, Dame, Jay, Jay wanted Dame or Biggs to take a cut. They they wanted Biggs to take a cut because he didn't they didn't want him to take a cut. They wanted to cut him because he didn't do nothing no more. He was the original money, but now we we got money. You don't you're not worth nothing no more. Dame didn't want that. So Dame got cut and now Biggs is still. So with you're Jack. basically saying Dame should get the credit for Kanye. Dame definitely. Uh, okay. Yes, well let me yes. ask you this. Let me put it in Jay. Pers- okay, let me put another respect. And Jay. Who gets the credit for um Matt Stafford's Super Bowl ring? The Rams or the Lions? <laughs> The Rams, because they <laughs> traded for him. But the Lions are the one who signed him. They brought him into the game. They drafted him, not the Rams. What do what do they? I'm making a plain point of how but, somebody just because I brought you in and signed you don't mean I get the credit for you your motherfucking. But when you did something, the... this is the point I'm making. Kanye ain't going nowhere till you start fucking with Jay. Kanye just no, a regular time dude. Out. Tom, no, he wasn't. Kanye was. was Kanye them first sneakers, single blew up. Them sneakers wasn't selling till recently. They were selling, but they didn't go. The sneaker culture went crazy recently. That was way Whenever it went oh. crazy, Kanye is a billionaire because of his sneakers. Okay, he and, wouldn't and like have. Said, we already agree. If they never signed, if, if he wouldn't have his, if he was just a oh, producer, he would have never had no sneakers. What you do, just said what that. What do what do Dame got that so crazy? Nothing. What do Jay Z got that so crazy? What do you mean? All his liquor, his clothing line, everything Jay Z touched goes crazy. So Rockaway wasn't selling crazy. Yes. Okay, that was, that was Dame. That wasn't Dame. That was Jay Z sold it. Not Dame. Dame ain't getting nothing out of that deal. What are we're you talking not about? talking. Of, we're talking about who came up with the idea to start a clothing line. That was it, Dame. You said the, no. We're not talking about who came That's up with the idea. That's about. what you're talking. But with Jay Z's name attached. Once Jay Z sold it, Jay Dame ain't get a dollar. What did Dame come up with by himself that went what, crazy? You're, you're, you're missing. Nothing. You're missing the point. No, you're missing the point. You're missing the I'm point. They the were rhyme. getting money together. Dame expand. Jay Z would have just been a rapper so if it why, wasn't for. Why Dame ain't get nothing after Rockefeller did? What do you mean? Why he when Jay Z sold Rockefeller? I mean, Rockefeller. I mean, Rock aware. They got money off Who? of it. Dame. They all got money. Dame was just, Maybe just not this. Interview when Dame was bitching about. How he how he undercut his for selling what we sold Rockaway because Dame was trying to do something else. They ain't be bitching about this shit all the time on TV. How anything he tries to do, Jay Z doesn't. Jay Z didn't put no stock into it. That's why it didn't sell. But no, 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 when no, 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 Let's let's just I'm, end I'm, it like no, this. A blind man can see this, right? Yeah. Right? A deaf man. Leor Cohen's hated Dame Dash so much, and he was independent so much that Leor Cohen's bought Rockefeller and gave it back to Jay Z. What's your point? What do you mean? Just to get rid of Dame. That's the movie you don't understand. So what that gotta do with Duce, Ace of Spade? And he would have still made that Ooh. money with Dame. He would have still made that money. No, the so only listen, difference is... I mean, you just made my point for me. You said he still would have made that money with Dame, right? Yes. But if Dame, Dame got to look out, 
he ain't making that money without Jay Z. That's the because point Dame making. is blackballed now. Dame is That's... blackballed in the music industry. Dame, Dame is not his liquor, bro. bro. What are you talking about? Call him they don't Uber. give a fuck if if Dame. Who Dame, don't give a if fuck? If Dame's name can make me money in the liquor aspect, nobody give a fuck about me. Bro, Dame name don't hold no weight no exactly. more. Exactly. Why it don't it? Way, because he's been blackballed too long. Because of Jay Z. No, no, what that's what they got about? you to believe. So why, as soon as he, him and Jay Z fall out, he has because no he got blackballed. It, because of Jay Z. What you think? What, what the you, fuck is this? No, thing? because they. Come my on, my nigga, on, if somebody hate me that much Come on, man. that they're gonna buy our cup, if somebody say, "Listen, you're about to make my point for me," go ahead. Vito, <laughs> we hate Brown so much that if you cut Brown off and come ride with us, we're gonna buy keep it a C note off. We're gonna give y'all all, all three of y'all. Time out. Leo, time Leo out. Didn't buy Rocket time Rocket out. So we're gonna buy it. Leo didn't buy Rockefeller, but go ahead. How did Jay get Rockefeller back? He didn't. Leo did. How did Jay get I don't back? know, but okay. Leo did not buy so Rockefeller. He was how, a fucking employee for somebody. He didn't. He can. Come on. How man. did, how did, how did Jay get Rockefeller, Rockefeller back? I don't know. Okay, then. But so he, don't say that. I know he for a fact Leo is not the one who bought Rockefeller. What are you talking about, so man? So again, I will ask you Vito, if you cut Brown off and come with us, we're going to buy Keep It to See No podcast. Right. Y'all going to split the pod three ways, and I'm going to give you the podcast That's back. Okay. That sounds good. But look at it Come in this on, aspect. Man. I That's only it. fuck with Brown because I fuck with you. If if Brown wasn't down with you, I would not fuck with Brown. That lets you know that they only fuck with Dame on the strip of Jay-Z, nigga. Which once yes. Jay-Z cut Dame off, once Dame, nobody fucks with Dame. Once Dame Come said, on, once Dame started talking math, independence, uh -huh. I'm not... I'm, John, do the math, man. Take us away, John, on the end of this show. Why? Why is it hard to believe this? But he will say that he just had a whole debate about the NFL thing. Why can't it be the same thing here? What? What's the, what's the correlation? I do believe that. You don't think that Dame Dash was blackballed out there? Everything, not no, not just no, I, not I, just I music, said, not just music. I never said he was he wasn't blackballed in the music industry because that was his bread and butter. But on, they the, didn't on the flip side. The liquor industry ain't got nothing to do with the music industry. The music industry makes the liquor But make everything money. is hand in hand. Money is money. And then exactly. if you come so from money. So if Dame can make me money in the liquor industry, why the fuck would I turn him away? Time out. Dame, if, if if I say we're not messing with Dame, nobody. nobody. The people, the masses control everything. Do Leo you, and them. Do you feel like um, Gillian made your fingers to blackball in the music industry? Yes. And look at him shining now doing that's, podcasts. That's, that's different, years huh? later. So was that shit. That years that year was years later. ago with Dame and Jay Z. What the? That was more than ten years ago. What the fuck no, is you talking? No, you're about? talking about. Come you're on, talking man. about Gilly and them was blackballed not because they're hated. That that shit was blackballed by Jay Z. It We're don't matter. They was blackballed. Yeah, no, what I'm talking what about, talking Leor about? Cohen's, who he's sitting at the table with when he go to eat and who he hang with, it's people that run everything. Oh, man, it's simple. Name me one thing that Dame done outside of Jay Z that was successful. You're Even saying the, the outside, you can't say out of, outside of Jay-Z because if I come to you with all the ideas, right? And if they, John come with all the ideas. And they only sell because my name's attached to We it. don't know that. Yes, we do. It's proof. How? And everything made, Dame has done has not went crazy. Like now, maybe Because you're taking blackball. If Dame had the same oh, opportunity. He don't have the same opportunity because okay. he hate Jay-Z, nigga. He don't have the it's same so opportunity because they hated that man so much. He don't have the same opportunity because he ain't the fucking talent. He's not going to bring in the money like Jay is. That's why everybody gravitated to Jay. So let me, all right, we'll, we'll wrap it up like this, I swear. What you talking about, man? If Jay-Z was the talent, but he had the dickhead attitude, the Dame Dash and all them, would it would it like been? Kanye does and he's still going crazy. Come no. on, man. Kanye got the dickhead no, mentality. Kanye no. got the dickhead mentality. Kanye didn't go rich off music, bro. Excuse me, but he still has a dickhead mentality. And he's and he, a fuck, hold on, but he's he a live the game. wire that can go crazy. No, the fuck he don't. He's worse than fucking. No, he's not. No, he, he not worse than Dame. You tripping, man. The, you never show me footage of on, Kanye man. going in there cursing Lee or anybody out, nigga. Show I, me on, footage hold on, of hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, first and foremost. Show me footage of that. Even if I can't find footage, are I you seen, not? I seen footage of Kanye cursing up motherfuckers. In sessions when they're making music together. 
We're not talking about. We're talking about the top he, dog. He just was. He was just grinding up Adidas about trying to copy his sneakers. Now, because he's a billionaire. What I'm saying when Come Kanye on. was coming up, Kanye there, was not going in there cursing no big dogs out. He, he wasn't. Of course, you're not going to be able to curse the big dogs out until you get to a certain status. Dane was at a certain status to do that. If Dane was on the come up, he wouldn't be able to fucking do <laughs> that. Nobody listen can to what I'm telling up. you. Take Kanye West. Take about, Kanye right? West where he was at before Yeezys. He still had money. He still was popular. Yeah. If Kanye West before Yeezys would have been acting like a dickhead like Dame, he would not be a billionaire right yeah, now. Jay-Z, he made, made, got Jay-Z don't make the majority off. of his money off of music. He makes his majority of money off of everything else, Jay-Z right? Jay-Z played ball. What I'm saying is the dickhead. Where does he get his majority of his money for? Have you ever music? heard of Jay-Z cursing anybody? We're talking oh. about niggas that played. Dame didn't play ball. That's what DMX I'm trying to get you. DMX played ball. He sold crazy And DMX yeah, was, was fucked up before he, he got He fucked his own shit up. He was fucked but up. But he made crazy money. He went he diamond. He was fucked up. DMY, all of them niggas ain't the same, bro. Nigga, Come because on, they're man. different type of players who spend their money different ways, but he nah, made the money that yeah. they ain't never made. I, I, I will admit that I do think Jay-Z does play ball, and that's why he's he in played, the, man. He, and that's why he's in that's, that's why he's in the position the that he's in. Exactly. The, bro, the, if Jay-Z would have if we go back, Jay-Z's the talent. If Jay-Z was on camera cursing Leor the fuck out right and he's back still, then, he's Dame, still would be the Dame, talent. Dame, time out. The if Jay-Z right now, if you switch him with Dame Dash and Jay-Z was cursing Leor and them the fuck out, they would have got rid of Jay-Z no, and Dame no, would be wouldn't. the talent. No, they wouldn't. What's Dame your thoughts, What the to, fuck is Dame going to Dame, Dame knew the talent, though. What are you going to bring to He brought all the talent. Okay, he brought Cameron. He bought State Property. He brought Jay-Z in. How, how many of them niggas did the numbers Jay-Z did? He bought Jay-Z in. How many niggas did Dane brought in on his own? Did Dane numbers? brought Jay-Z in. That's where the conversation is. How many numbers is. did them niggas, did Cameron do? The state property. The do. conversation. You can take ends. everybody. Without say, Dame, is no J. You Jay. can take everybody together that Dane brought in that's not Jay-Z and they didn't do Jay-Z numbers. With, and he <laughs> brought Kanye in. in. And he still ain't do Jay-Z numbers. Jay-Z, Dane brought the two Stop biggest guys in. Pause. Jay-Z Dame, and Kanye West. You can't give that's Dame on, credit bro. for Jay-Z. Come Jay-Z, on, Jay-Z brought his son. Jay-Z, Jay-Z was, was out before Dame came and along. And he wasn't right? popping until okay. he got with Dame. Come so my on, point man, is, how can he bring him out if he was already out? He wasn't mm-hmm. fucking popping. He was out though, so he's they, a Jay Z was fucking holding he the mic for Jazz a up. Rapper, on, he had songs on, out. He ain't Listen, it out. people, wish your thoughts, oh. people. I want to know. Keep it a C note with us. Keep it a C note with us. If Jay was Dame, let us know, people. Would Jay be where he is right now, or would Dame be right now? Let us know. No, Jay Z already sold millions uh, of records. Really when he's talking about when Dame cursed Leo, Leo out, Jay Z already was millions of records sold already. So at that time, if Jay Z on a hard knock, yeah, so Jay Z, hold on, so if Jay Z would have cussed Leo out on that hard or whatever what tour that was, Jay Z still be fucking Jay Z right no, now. No, he would not. Nah. You no. never heard what what Nori said about what Leo told him. He said. He went to Leor house and Leor he said, "Yo, this is a nice house." And Leor told him, Listen. "Just hold on." He Leor told Nori, "Let's just hope you're hot enough next year to be in there." So that means as long as you're hot, I'm fucking with you. Listen, I simply, listen. I love, I love, I love, I love drink champs. That's my on, favorite man. podcast besides for our podcast. On, but Nori is Joey shit with with Leor and them. Come what on, the man. Fuck he fucking he Joey shit with what that got to do with the nigga? He Joey shit with Jay. Okay, let him be Joe with whoever. He still got a relationship with Dame too. So what right. the fuck is you talking about? But you seen you seen you seen uh, Nori in the movies, right? Yeah. State prop. Uh, yeah, that's because of Dame. Man. Yeah, that's his man. So my yeah, point is, right. everybody. So he ain't taking no side. Everybody. He ain't taking no side. Everybody. He ain't. Everybody what? Everybody, Dame made them niggas. Kevin Hart. Dame made Nori. Kevin Hart. Dame made Nori. Huh? Dame made Nori. No, D- Dame gave Nori a fucking second life when he was dead, and he a started second putting life. What did Nori do after that that role in that movie? Nothing. He did fucking reggae tongue. Man, he did that shit before the movie. What the fuck is <laughs> you talking about? You don't be knowing what you be talking about. Call him a Uber. Anything. Call that him shit came Uber. out before that movie. Be no, the no, movies came Hart, out. Though. No, it did not. What are you talking nigga, about? he started reggae tongue in like 05. 
Them movies was all he was out doing that shit that. way what before 05, man. About? He don't be no Listen, people, we got to we got to wrap this up. <laughs> Vito was giving me a headache like you just always. Jay-Z hate and you'll do anything no, to No, you on just that out of pocket, Come bro. On, you you can't just out of You just get it. You can't get Like you don't that. give Dave no credit no, or none of that he shit. He don't get no credit for Kanye's billionaire status. If anybody But does, you Jay-Z do does. agree that if Kanye was just a producer right now, he wouldn't be a billionaire, right? No. You just said you agreed with that. What the fuck I'm saying that? no, he wouldn't be a billionaire. Oh, oh, okay, then. This, right, this then. is my All point. Right. You don't listen. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I just asked you a question. I said, so and you're I saying. You. I just answered it. You, you said no. Listen. Yes. I asked you. So you answered your question. You might have to say yes. No, oh. I did not. I answered the question the way you asked All it. Right, and y'all. you don't listen. It'll be over. <laughs> It'll be over top of me. Ooh. Call him a Uber. Think, As bro? always, people, I am your boy Brown. To the left of me, we got your boy John. And to the left of John, we got <laughs> Vito in the building. Far lefty is in the building. <laughs> As always, people, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell everybody. Keep the C note. We'll holler at y'all.